Let's create a self-signed certificate using Internet Information Services in Windows Server 2016. We'll go to Tools and Internet Information Services, and we'll click on our server. From here, we've got server certificates. So from here, we're going to click on Create a Self-Signed Certificate. So we're going to give this the actual name we're going to be using for our domain. Now, if we're using this for hosting a website, then we would choose web hosting. Otherwise, we'll choose personal, even though it doesn't seem like it's a personal type of certificate, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and click OK. And there is our certificate. Now, let's take a look at this in the certificate store. So we want to go to our Start button, right-click, and choose Run, and type MMC, short for Microsoft Management Console. And we'll choose File, Add or Remove Snap-In. And from here, we want to add our certificates Snap-In. And we're going to choose our My User Account and click OK. Now, if we expand the certificates and expand the Trusted Root certification, click on Certificates, we can see our certificate we just created, work.widget.internal, and it was created on the VM Host 2 server. We're going to choose All Tasks, and we're going to choose Export. And we're going to say, yes, export the private key, because we're going to need that for our server. And we're going to take a look, make sure it's a PFX, because that's what we need on our, for our workstations to be able to import it. And include all certificates and click Next. We're going to choose the password, and we'll put in any password that we want. And we'll click Next. And then we'll choose the file name. And we'll just call it Work. Put it onto our desktop and save. And finish. And there is our certificate. Let's open it up. And there it is. We could also choose to install it here, but since it's already installed, we don't, we don't have to do that here, but we can do that on our workstation as well. So let's go back into our server manager. And if we had a website that we wanted to tie this to, we could go to Tools, IIS Manager. And then from here, we could click on Sites, Default Website, Bindings, click Add, change this from HTTP to HTTPS, and you could choose the certificate that we just created, and then you would type that same host name, work.widget.internal. So that's how you create and bind a certificate to a site in Windows Server 2016.